Hi everybody, have you ever wondered in NSX what happens if I delete a distributed firewall rule by accident? Or even better, how do I back up my distributed firewall rules? That's what we're going to cover, so stick around. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. So why don't we jump right into it. Let's take a look at the distributed firewall on a couple of things here. One of them, one of them will be how do we back up our configuration? I want to have a, a copy, I want to put it off site, that thing. And is there some kind of um, um, built-in feature of NSX where if I accidentally delete a rule, there might be something for me to kind of go back to, right? We'll show you a couple of those. So let's switch over to my screen right now and i uh, just want to make sure my recordings come there we go all right so uh i've got some really basic rules here nothing too crazy let's go into let's go into security uh i'm going to go into my distributed firewall again if you're not familiar with this watch my distributed firewall uh, uh video it's, it's a fairly long one but i do cover it in quite a bit of depth right um so you'll see over here under my category specific rules i can go to all rules you'll see all the rules there there's a whole whack load of them uh, but I've got basically my default rule here. That's the default rules that come with NSX. You'll see I created a couple of rules here. I'm not that imaginative. So I've got a policy called my policy one. I got a bunch of little bogus rules in there. I got another uh, policy called my policy two. I got a couple of rules in there. And I got a my policy three. And I've got a couple of rules in there. They're all kind of just bogus rules that don't really mean anything. But anyways, you'll see that uh, like my policy one, I have... Uh, the any source can talk to the database. It's only applied to database uh, the database uh, group. Uh, I also have any source can talk to my app group. Uh, and that's only applied to the app group and everything's allowed over here. My policy too, I've got database can talk to web and app groups. Uh, it's only applied to web app and database and it's allowed. Again, just some really silly rules I just threw in there, right? Uh, and then I have also um, uh, rule three here, allow an app to talk to anybody and then my policy three rule five i've got my source is database and my destination is web and i have a service there i'm specifying all the other ones i just said any but this one i'm saying ssh and i'm applying it to the web and database groups and i'm allowing ssh again it doesn't really matter everything's allowed so just just i just threw in some rules just to have some rules so first of all there might be something, Let, let's export these. So I wanna be able to make a complete backup of this. Now, I'm willing to bet a lot of you don't do this, okay? Um, you can probably do this with APIs. You can do this through APIs. I just, I'm not an API guy. But um, let's get a copy of this so I can have it. If something should happen somehow down the road, I can I can do a, com like a complete restore. So I'm gonna go under actions. Now you might think it's save. It's not save, right? It's export firewall configuration. So when I click on export, uh, it's going to ask me for a passphrase. So it's a, first, first of all, let's kind of just read through it. Um, note, exporting firewall configuration will only export firewall rule definitions, but not groups and other groups. So your group definitions are not covered in this. In other words, it doesn't back up your group definitions. That's part of your NSX manager backup. Okay, so this is completely different, right? And that gives you some other stuff over here. Uh, publish operations will be disabled while export operation is running. So now that it's asking you for a passphrase to, to, to protect this, right? And by default, it looks like it says VMware one exclamation point, VMware one exclamation point. That sounds good to me. I'll type that in uh, one exclamation point where one exclamation point. Uh, put in a passphrase that makes sense for you folks. Don't copy the same one here. So I guess it's one way of protecting things. I'm going to click on export. Uh, firewall configuration is now is uh, firewall configuration file is now ready for download. Okay, so mine went pretty quickly there. I've done a few in the past, uh, but that was fairly quick. You'll also notice here just to show you this it says this identity firewall is turned off. Don't worry about that. That's not completely different. I don't have my identity firewall turned on. I might do um, a video on identity firewalls, eh, maybe down the road, whatever. So let's. Uh, so it's ready for download. Now notice over here, export file ready, and then I can click on the download link. I'll click on that. It says confirm you're about to download this firewall as it was exported as of this date and time. And I'll say download. 
and then at that point it's asking me where do I want to go I'm going to put it to my C drive my DFW just ready firewall config and I'm going to save it all right did I save it I thought I saved it hang on a second let's see if that worked there let's go there let's go to the certified firewall config and then there we go is that the one yes it was all right so you'll see it's a compressed zip file uh, let's just go into here and let's extract it just to see what's inside there right and you'll see there's a CSV file there and a metadata file so you could actually import this into Excel if you wanted to and kind of go around and poke around at it if you like right but I now have a copy of this right so I can go in here and blow away my configuration if I wanted to right um, this is also this is also this is my washing machine beeping sorry uh, this is also really good if you've got different sites or whatever or different forget about different sites but even if you have multiple NSX deployments and there's certain rules or sorry you want the, to copy that type of configuration for one environment over to the other you can do something like that so that might be a, another possible use here right so let me go in and start blowing away some rules here let's uh let's um delete policy one let's delete policy two I still have policy three let's keep policy three what the hell uh, now I'm just gonna hit publish no, I, I haven't deleted anything I can hit revert and all that stuff I just did goes back right so I'm just gonna hit set publish boom I've now got the default rules here which you'll notice you can't delete those okay um, so the default rules here in NSX again if you haven't seen my firewall rules it's default is allow ultimately you want to work towards setting those to deny everything after you get all your micro segmentation set up but anyways watch that video so i'm blown away two policies policies one and policies two and it had a whole bunch of rules in there it had four rules and uh in total inside there right so i now go okay i, I would need to restore that how can i restore it uh let's go into actions and you, you can probably figure out import so click on import uh, there's the passphrase I'll call it name whatever uh, my import to whatever oh I need to browse first maybe I should do that and I'm going to go into here there's the the compressed file and I'm gonna go import okay so uh, draft import successful so it was uh, imported successfully now I'm gonna go into here actions I'm gonna go view right now under view here you'll see saved by me and if I click on this you will actually see my import to is right over here so if I click on that you'll actually see there's my import to and there's there's the draft changes It's saying what's different is my policy one and my policy two are gone so when I imported it, it didn't automatically just throw it in there it actually threw it into let me uh, cancel all this it threw it into what's referred to as saved configurations by me right so it said save configurations by me and you'll see these icons over here and you'll actually see there's a few other ones that I have here right um, that I was kind of messing with but there's the one I just did there my import to like I said when I double click on that um, sorry when I click on that it comes up and it shows me this is the ch the changes now I can actually say okay um, let's go into here and let's load it sorry let's load this so are you are do, are, do you wish to load the save configuration I'm gonna say load and then at that point you'll see there's my policies one two and three they're back but wait up doesn't take effect till I hit publish okay so I have to hit that publish button notice it says in progress let's hit that refresh button let's hit that refresh button boom everything's back the way they are okay so a quick way on doing an export and an import of your distributed firewall rules pretty simple when you look at it right it's just that import part there's that little extra step they have to take now let's say you didn't do any of that stuff let's say you know um, if I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna let's say delete my policy I just deleted policy one I'm gonna hit publish so I just got rid of policy one by the way uh, by the way policy two is there with its rules for three and four policy three has always been there so I just deleted policy one which had two rules in it if you remember from what we looked at if I go to actions now I talked about we looked at importing and we looked at exporting the firewall configuration um, 
what is saved and what is view view you kind of seen that when i imported the configuration i went into view and notice over here it says auto saved saved by others like some other user apart from me well i'm the admin so whatever uh, and saved by me now the saved by me is one to our i just showed you when i imported those are considered saved by me auto saved when i look at that anytime you publish a rule so you make you, you create a rule sorry anytime you publish something whether you're deleting rules adding rules those are auto saved right and you'll see that there's 15 of them i can click on that and um it actually goes through and you'll notice that the icons if i click on auto save that shows me i have all these different icons over here if i go clear now it shows me if i go save by me it shows me only the different icons that were saved by me so let's hit clear and if i go auto save again so it's showing me basically all the stuff that was kind of saved to me let's double click on this one here right and you'll actually show oh, is this the one i want no let's go to this guy here there's that policy one that I deleted, right? Let's load it. Let's load. And there we go. I loaded. There's policy one, two, and three. And I'm going to hit publish. And I'll just refresh that. So remember, I deleted it and I published it, right? So it auto saved that. So you might be wondering, uh, it will auto save, uh, if I remember correctly, up to 100. Uh, um, publishes <laughs> i guess right so up to a maximum of 100 so it's not gonna sit there and uh, auto save a thousand of them for you right uh it'll auto save all the way up to 100 uh it'll also um you can mainly save you could at this point here you can come in here and you say well i want to save my configuration so you click save you give it a name um steve demo save you can lock it so nobody can make changes you can give it a description probably a good idea and probably um yeah, so um, so it says comment is needed to modify the lock on the object. Or let's lock it. What the heck? Yeah. My save. Leave. Oh, leave it alone. <laughs> Whatever. And I made a typo there. So I'm going to save that. So I just created a save, right? Now that didn't export it. If I go back to actions here, so view. Let's see here. Let's go to uh, save by me. It says six now. When I click on that, Where's uh, Steve Save? I thought I named it Steve Save Demo. Yeah, Steve uh, Steve uh, Demo Save right there. So I click on that, and well, whatever, no rules. We're done on that one, right? So uh, there's no changes on that one. So um, so that's how that's what those functions are. So if you want a a good thing to do would be to export your firewall rule configurations. This way you got a copy. It's offsite whatever the case may be if something should happen you can always import it and load it and like i said if you accidentally delete a rule you don't have to freak out and start polishing up your resume you can actually go in and look at the view and then uh, again i'm looking at the last 30 days you can look at the last day right um and i'll show you basically what was done in the last day or whatever the case may be right and you can adjust this timeline as well all right so i got a few things there um that's basically it pretty quick pretty simple pretty easy um leave your comments below i hope you found this entertaining if you did hit that like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel does me a big favor if you do that um stay tuned for some more videos i'll have some more coming up uh on, pro on protecting your vSphere environment and a few others also leave comments if there's something you want to see leave a comment okay I, I try to get back to everybody at least within a couple days all right but usually within about 24 hours i get back to people so thanks very much have a great day see you soon